Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the cabin. If you're new to this channel, we do a lot of building here, and if you've been following us for some time, you know that because I've actually been working on this for about a year now. But you can see that I do a lot of work off of ladders. I've actually got three of them set up there. And although I spent 30 years with the, uh, the telephone company on the side of a pole and I feel very comfortable up in the air, still um, working on a ladder is not the safest way to go about it. Um, but I have something that I think is going to be a game changer. What I have here is a safety cage that Vibor has sent us, and I would like to thank them for sponsoring this video, uh, which goes on the forks of your tractor and basically encages you in. So, I'll get my knife, we'll get this thing unboxed and check it out and see what it looks like. Okay, there is a little bit of assembly required, but um, the way that this thing packs up is kind of cool. So, this is actually, I believe, the front. Anyway, this comes out. This comes up. You open the back. Okay, that's got that. Now this will be the front. So I'm assuming it's going to latch on that side. Okay. Got two pins here. I'm screwing this last screw. What I'll do is I'm just getting them started and then I'll flip it over and we'll run them in with the drill. So Got that one in there. All right, I actually got the, uh, I guess you would call them the fork shoes or the fork feet put on there and I got all the bolts tightened down. So those are mounted for the forks to be able to slide in. Now this is actually the chain that comes for the back side. I'll show you what that's for in just a minute. But I kind of felt that it was a little lightweight. So I used it basically as another safety feature here. This is how you open this, right? Okay, so I decided instead of just using that, the lock right there what I would do is I would go ahead and put this around it with the little clasp just in the event this was to come out it's still not going to come out okay anyway because I have another chain back here which I'll show you now all right this chain is actually like the one that I use that I've got on my propane tanks um, these are actually welded together instead of just being crimped so this is the clasp that came with this one and I had this one which is a heavy duty one. So I went ahead and put that one on there. I want to get one more because what this does is on the back of your forks, this goes around the head of that to keep it, the uh, platform from sliding off the forks in case you tip it or dip it like that. So um, they've got little clips back here. But what I thought I would do is use this uh, to actually hold these together as well instead of just the little pins in the corner. So not only will it hold these two together even if the pins came out, but it would also hold it on the back side of my forks. Now, um, is this bulletproof? No, there's still a lot of other safety things that I could think of that I could possibly do. Now, it came with... It came with four of these right here, which are really nice wheels that you can actually lock. But I think that I'll save them for another project. Because this, you know, I'm not going to be doing anything from the ground, right? And I don't need to roll it around. I can lift it with the tractor. So I've decided to go ahead, like I said, use these for another project and just leave that as is. Now, even though I have a safety cage, that doesn't mean that I can just jump in it and run up in the air. Um, without a safety belt. 
So I have this. This is what I used to climb with for years. Working off ladders, working off of hooks. Um, it didn't make any difference. So when I get in, I will be able to run this even around the headache rack on the forks, okay? But I'll, since that is the back of it right there, I'll put this on. Then if anything was to fail, I'm still secured up in the air. Or if I was to fall over the side, I'm still secured up in the air. I can say that for a retail price of around $209, uh, that this isn't a bad setup. I would uh, change that little chain out myself if, if I were you and needed, one, needed to have one of these um, and got one just a little bit bigger that are actually tacked shut instead of just crimped like I said um, and be able to attach that to whatever piece of machinery that you're using. Make sure that this goes around something to keep it from sliding off and instead of just attaching it on these little D-rings that they've kind of got welded right here like I said, I would put it around the whole frame right here because that just helps to keep, uh, it's like a second latch up here basically. So it keeps these two together. This one over here is held together by pins. Okay, so it's not going to come out. Um, that side over there has got another latch, but like I said, running that little strap around there and connecting it. I think that this would be fairly... Uh, safe it's it's the platform that you want to move around in you know that you would be able to step from one side maybe this side if you needed to get, get over just a little bit and to be able to reach out but like i say you're still connected you don't want to put your weight on any of this and cause it to shift uh, which might cause you to fall out because even working off a ladder anything uh, any type of platform you're not supposed to extend yourself beyond your chest to your shoulder beyond the rail of the outside of what you're doing so if I'm up here I don't want to to lean out really any farther than this right here because that would be over the limit so for the money um, and just a little bit of a modification I think that you could make yourself a fairly safe uh, piece of equipment that you can work aloft in. So yeah, I'll take the grapple off the tractor, put the forks on there, we'll get this thing hooked up and see how it works. Now for me, what I'm going to have to do, since I can't lift myself up, working as a, a you know, just basically a single person, um, I will lift the lift up and then I will use the ladder to, to climb up and get up in it. That way I can work safely. So it will come in handy, you know, putting in rafters possibly, working on metal, uh, on the roof, you know, doing a lot of different projects that I need to do up high because <laughs> I invested a lot of money in ladders and I use them all the time and feel comfortable with them, you know, for working 30 years for the phone company, but still uh, I need to be safer, you know, I'm getting older and I need to be a little safer because if I did get hurt I probably wouldn't heal like I used to when I was younger. So, like I said, we'll get this thing uh, saddled up to the tractor and see how it's going to work. Alright, you can see I've got my chain wrapped around my headache rack here on the forks. And just 
It has a little bit of play because they've got oversized uh, feet for your forks, but it definitely is not going to come off of there. Well, as you can tell, that's going to come in really handy for the type of building that I do around here. You know, safety is important because I'm up here by myself. Now, I do have to use a ladder to get up there and climb in. Um, if I had some planks laying across the um, some of the headers up there, then you know I would be able to probably step into it. But I can actually move that ladder over, climb in it, and work a little bit safer than I can off of a ladder. So again, I want to thank Vivor for sponsoring this video and sending us that um, safety cage for a review. With some slight modifications like I did uh, using a heavier duty chain to attach it to the headache rack of the boom, um, I think that you know it's a lot safer and using that little chain on that front door as a backup safety feature so that it doesn't come unlatched. But for the money, I think that it does give you a good start. Now another thing you could always do um, where the walls actually meet the tubing you could actually drill quarter inch holes and put bolts in there and sturdy that up a whole lot if you didn't need to fold it down. So like I said um, for the money I think it gives you a good start for a safety platform to be able to work off of. Now it's not bulletproof but it is a whole lot safer than working off a ladder take my word for it and 30 years of experience because I have had some accidents working for the phone company and hopefully we won't have any here. So friends we want to thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us while we review that new safety cage. Again thanks to Vivor for sending it to us. Folks have a great day. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.